Yeah, in this video, we are going to show you how to troubleshoot the audio system and the navigation in BMW 745 or 750 2002 to 2009. Uh, the most common problem with this unit is that you lose this audio and then in the display uh, as you can see when you see the, all the FM and AM and the CD uh, there are no uh, station numbers next to it so and the navigation does not work and also when you open the door you don't hear the door chimes and the reason is because uh, the whole audio system in this car and the navigation uh, they run on the fiber optic line so for any reason that the fiber optic line op gets opened then the first thing that happens you lose the sound and as you can see you cannot see the, the station numbers next to the FM or AM band in order to troubleshoot the issue the, you have to, there are too many steps that you have to take. Uh, if any of the components on the fiber optic line goes bad, and then uh, this problem happens. So you have to figure out which one is bad. It could be the uh, single uh, CD player, it could be the CD changer, and also the components in the, the trunk. It could be any of these components in the trunk. It could be the navigation unit, uh, this, the voice module, or the amplifier, the Logic 7, or the uh, communication module. Or in some cars, they are equipped with the satellite uh, tuner which is hooked up to this wire uh, if the satellite tuner is out then you have the same uh, symptom uh, so to find out which component is bad you have to bypass each individual components uh, by up using the fiber optic loop uh, which uh, you can buy that one from the BMW dealer or you can buy it through us or some people they call it lollipop uh, you have to you remove the fiber optic line from the component and then you use your uh, bypass loop into the fiber optic connector and then you go back into the vehicle and then you start the car and then you, find, you can see if the AM FM station and the numbers comes back on the screen or not. If it comes back then you know which component is bad. You can either start from the trunk or you can start from the in, in front of the car. The, the, there are two components that you cannot bypass. This is the ASK unit or a single CD player and the navigation uh, display. Any other components such as the uh, CD changer, DVD changer, amplifier, the phone module, or the communication module, or satellite tuner, they all can be bypassed. But besides the ASK unit and the display unit, any other component can be bypassed. If you, in case if your ASK unit is bad or the single CD player, uh, the only way to check it out, you have to put another unit in there and then you can check the car to see if it, the problem is resolved or not. And these units, the ASK unit, they are uh, comparable between 2002 to 2005 and 2006 and 2009, they are comparable. And once you replace them, usually they do not require programming only in some cases, if you have some other equipment like a DVD changer or satellite tuner, they might require programming. So and we are going to show you the next step how to bypass the components besides the 
ASCII unit and the display unit. And if you need to bypass the CD changer, you have to remove the changer and then you can uh, bypass it. As you can see, I already removed the amplifier. So now to bypass the amplifier, the first thing you do is just unplug the fiber optic line which goes to the amplifier. There is a tab you push in and then you can remove the plug. And then this is a, a fiber optic loop, or which some people they call a lollipop. You can insert it into the uh, fiber optic and you hold it tight, make sure it's not loose. If it's loose, the, the light won't go through. So that is right now the amplifier is bypassed. So everything in the vehicle it should work if the problem was the amplifier. The only difference is you are not going to have sound. But as far as the functionality, the navigation should work. All of the station next to the AM and FM is, it should show up on the display. But the only, and you are also going to have sound also in the front speakers and the rear deck. Uh, once the Logic 7 amplifier is bypassed, uh, you are going to lose the sound in the subwoofer on the floor and the rear door speaker you would not have audio but the front door speaker should have sound and the rear deck behind the passenger should have sound because those speakers are powered by the ASC unit or the single CD player so I'm going to show you now in the display that if the problem was the amp we are going to see all the numbers uh, next to the AM and FM station. And right now I'll show you how to bypass the navigation unit. After you use those keys to get the navigation out, yeah, you can see the fiber optic here. And then what you do, you insert the loop here, and this is bypassed. And then you go back into the car and then they start the car and then you check to see if everything is working fine or not. If everything is working fine, then you know your problem, the, the navigation unit was causing the problem, so you lost your audio. And the next step, we are going to bypass the voice module. And this is a voice module located above the navigation unit. So you just press the tab in and you pull the plug out. This has only one plug. And then you do the same thing, you insert the loop, okay. And then you go back into the vehicle and to check if everything is working fine now. If everything is fine, then you know the problem was the voice module which needs to be replaced. If you don't, yeah. And some people, they just leave that one bypass, they do not use it. So it's up to you. Okay, and up here above the Logic 7 amplifier, is the communication module. We should do the same thing for communication module. You just unplug it and then you insert the bypass loop and then you go back into the car. Turn on the car and then you see all the function is working fine or not. Basically the same procedure for all the components. Okay now as you can see we got all our station back and next to the AM and FM that means the unit is working fine and you can even hear the radio running and you have sound. So in this case, we just bypass the navigation module and then everything is start working when the navigation was broken. Yeah, there is another module also could be bad, but it happens very rare. It's the, uh, the tuner module, which is uh, in the quarter panel, right behind the driver's side in the rear door. You can see it on the pillar. You have to remove that piece in order to get to it, uh, which is in order to do that one, you have to get the seat out also. That's one of the components that it might be causing the same problem. It's, it's an AM-FM module. 
in the code, that section. So you have to remove, bypass that one, and then everything is working fine or not. That's another thing, but it doesn't happen that often. And right now, I'm going to show you if the ASK unit is bad, uh, what would happen. Right now, you can see all the station numbers and everything. And this is a working <coughs> ASK unit, single CD player. I'm going to remove this uh, ASK unit and put a bad one in there, then I'll show you what's the difference. First, we are going to turn off the ignition. Okay, then you're going to remove this one. This is a good working one. And now I'm going to put the... Uh, this one is not working, so we're going to see the diff the differences when you plug in the bad ASK unit. Let me turn the ignition back on. And you can see it says accept. Then we go to the entertainment. And you can see all the stations, but there is no sound. You move it in, no sound. And the reason you can see all these numbers to it because uh, it still has the memory. If you leave it on for a long time and then you, uh, for like five, ten minutes, and you plug it back in, you don't see those numbers next to the station anymore. So basically, if any of the component on the fiber optic line uh, is bad, you are not going to have sound or you won't be able to see all those numbers next to the stations. And if you need any repair for any of those components, you can send them to High Tech Electronic Services. We are located in Van Nuys, California. We repair all this uh, display unit, ASK unit, Logic 7 amplifier, DVD changer, and CD changer. And, uh, and one more thing about those Logic 7 amplifier, which powers up the subwoofer on the floor and the rear door speakers and plus the center speaker on the top of the dashboard, this one up here. So it powers up five speakers, the center speakers, rear door speakers and uh, the plus the subwoofer on the floor, basically five speakers, it powers up. So if the Logic 7 has amplifier has issues, you're going to have the statics on the rear door or no sound or the subwoofer stops working. Uh, that's how you can tell if your Logic 7 is bad or not. So if you bypass the Logic 7 amplifier, you're going to have sound in the front door speakers and the rear deck, which is uh, powered by the single CD player. In some cases, people, they hear the static in the front speakers also, plus the rear door, and they think both of the units are bad, the ASK unit and the Logic 7. Not necessarily because Logic 7 amplifier is a digital sound process, so all of the sound will go through the Logic 7 amplifier and then powers up the speakers. So if the sound processor is bad, you are going to have a distorted sound in the front speakers too. Even though the front speakers are powered by the single CD player or called ASK unit, it doesn't mean that your ASK unit is bad. So if you have uh, distortion in all of the speakers, most likely your Logic 7 amplifier is bad. And if you need a repair for that one, you can send it to us for the repair. I think that would be basically all the information you need to troubleshoot your 750 or your 745 for the sound system or the navigation unit. And one more thing for the navigation unit, uh, sometimes just the, the, you have no display on the corner right here, but everything, the sound is working fine. 
in that case for sure the navigation driving it is bad and is due to the DVD mechanism inside the navigation unit so it's not uh, displaying the map on the corner of your multifunction display so for sure your navigation unit is out so that's the that's how you can tell if the navigation is good or not by not not saying that the, the map on the corner of the uh, display unit thank you i hope this one video helped you to figure out the problem with your uh, bmw 7 series and our phone number is 818 785 8085